divine sunshine coming to you with a um channeled message um this morning i woke up um saying the words diablos 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 um several times uh, when i looked it up in the dictionary first of all i knew that i know from the little parts of spanish that i've <laughs> taught or uh, i have been learned in high school and in, in um, elementary school that that means devil. But I also looked and seen, and Kathy D had seen, and she's picked up pretty much the same definition that I had, uh, meaning one to falter, someone who is um, to part away from man, from, from man is parting away from God's, God's directions, God's will for a person. Uh, and then also it's like, it's like a person who has like several heads too. Top of my head has been, my crown chakra has been like overly active here. And I know I got my head done, so I don't know what this is all about. Um, so what it brought to me is right now, oh, and it was saying slandered, someone being slandered. So right now what it's telling me is in some of, and they kept on saying about that man, let's say the one who is not in line with what's going on with the, the twin flame dynamic or the relationship right now. They are being slandered. I said that before um, in several readings and pulling other cards. And I'm saying about slandered could be their friends, family, co-workers, or whatever. Something is actually going on in the ethers with the divine counterparts, whether the divine feminines or masculine, because again, I can't really say it's really the divine masculine energies. Whoever is the one that is acting as if they're in the runner, or as I call it, the explorer energies right now, they're getting slandered right now. Um, because this is one tactic that is being used, um, by the universe to help them, they're showing me like train tracks and I'm seeing a signal to help them to get back on track. Some of them, again, are thinking that they're going to settle and be okay with where they are in this process and saying, okay, I'm not going to move. Hey, if I don't move, you know, close my eyes. If I close my eyes, I won't see what's going on around me. And the spirit is like, no. So this is right now, there's something going on again in this part of the cycle that is being brought out that that jumped off the page about being slandered. It is also being put upon that this person who is not being in alignment with the twin flame journey is also being considered to be a person who is they said if you're not with God you're against God so if you're not with source you're going against it and you being called a Diablos with that as well in my beliefs in growing up we used to call we didn't use the word sinner we would call a person who missed the mark so right now source is really calling out this it's mainly, they keep on saying it's divine masculine energies. Remember, that could be housed in a male or a female. So let's not get froggy. But again, if you are a female that is now not in agreement with it, you're either sharing the explorer or runner energies uh, that is being talked about in this channel message of this heed warning. The slander is going to become more. Some of you all may be not knowing and you might be oblivious. They're saying to what's going on and think that it's going to go away. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's not. Uh, the karmic might be going around and telling friends and everybody else so they can know to help to get on their own on their side. And these are some things that why they're saying, because again, 
it's for us, and they're bringing this to me too, a fork in the road. They say it's not only in relationships, it's also about you as far as your mission or your ideas about things. Where is it that you have found yourself going against what source has told you actually to do? Because when I looked up there, they said it was like, that's the masculine derivative of it. But... You know, I know with us in the English thing, we say Diablos, anything with an S is plural, is more than just one. And I know if it ends with an O, we're talking about it's a masculine uh, derivative of the usage of the word. So my thing is, in our thinking, where is it that we are not aligned with what source is and we keep on bucking and going against it? I know I've been doing a running joke and I don't even watch my videos, playback, and I say, oh my God, I, I do the same thing, the, the pulling back and don't want to be a part of it when we talk about the divine feminine, and I do it the same way for the divine masculine as well. Where is it that literally we have ourselves like, no, in our thinking when it comes to source? Because we're at the point that we've got to really see about it. Where is it that we're acting as if we have a two-headedness? Just like the symbols that they showed me about the Diablos. Uh, how that is being used. Where is it two-headed that we don't have one? The greatest book of all stated, we cannot serve two gods. Somewhere in our thinking, for them to say head, head most of the time is the one again, is the ruling of what we do. Head is leadership. That's what we're following. Because if the head turns, the body will follow. So where is it again? And like I said before, the where the divine masculine's energies is more so in the head and it needs to move into the heart. Where is it that even in our feminine energies and our emotions, we're not getting singular minded as far as where we're going as far as our goals or on this twin flame journey or exactly where we are actually supposed to be going. Somewhere for me, I mean, it was over with. I mean, I woke up and it's echoed in my heart. Diablos, 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 Diablos. I said, like, what the heck? What is that? I said, oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> Not no devils. Uh, uh, we ain't on this here. But, you know, of always, I've always been taught metaphysically, where can I take that? And for me to take it in a more metaphysical, what is the meaning behind it? Not to take it literally, but what is it? What is it that we are being double-minded about? What is it that we are going against sources saying, no, I ain't going to do it. You gave me free will. I'm going to exercise it, and I'm going to exercise it today. And sources saying, really, right now, you're against me. You're not for me. You're not on my side. It's like we're playing on two opposing teams when you're supposed to be playing with, for us. But again, just like you've seen some of them, who is that play for? Not team, a lot, of, a lot of these, I definitely know, like especially for the Chicago Bulls here. You see him, I think it was like a Rose. Uh, what's his name? Derrick Rose. He was playing for the Bulls, and for a while there, uh, they went and sent him to another team. You know, everybody was upset with him, saying uh, traded. It was somebody else. It was like they was calling him a traitor because they went to go play for something else. And then after a while, you know, you seen really, to be honest, I think it was Derrick Rose, when he got on the other team, he played much better. I mean, he had less of the of the um, injuries when he played. Something about, like I said, again, sometimes it's location, places, people. It just don't vibe. It just don't gel. This doesn't come together. And sometimes you got to let that situation go to go someplace else. And I remember that with Derrick Rose, but that's the same thing. You know, where is it? Maybe, you know, Derrick Rose wanted in his heart to always play for Chicago because he came from here. He played for Simeon. This is a basketball player for the Bulls, um, for some of you all that not familiarized. And Source might have told him, okay, that's great, but I really don't want you playing for Chicago. And he's like, but that's my dream. That's where I want to be. And so it's like everything, I mean, it was like every time he get out there, he breaking something. His Achilles, he's 
this, his tendon, his this, his that. Because I remember one time uh, one of the students came in my classroom and they're like, I ain't wearing his jersey no more. He always ends it. <laughs> And I remember Dad used to talk about him. He's like, I don't know. It is his technique or something ain't right about how that boy is playing because he's always on the injury list. They need to get rid of him. I don't think he said get rid of him, but I know he definitely said somebody's technique wasn't right between him and Mom. Somebody said that. So, but that was showing, again, the universe was showing that that wasn't, that wasn't his niche. That's what, not where he was naturally supposed to be sent. That's the same thing with us. Where is it that it seems like sources called us to do something and we haven't done it? Some of us could say these DMs that have been in these third party or karmic situations, they've been calling and calling and calling. They've been calling on and several of them have been sitting there for a while and this has been over. All you've been doing is just stewing. Just stewing in the cesspool of this drama and this knowingness of this relationship divine masculine if not gonna say females or males in those divine masculine energies where you are actually not going anywhere you at a stalemate they showing me like two pawns on a chest thing and you're not going anywhere and your queen is right there waiting and the king on the other side is waiting for the other karmic to let it go and they're just they're just staring at each other and both of them saying, well, you know, I can't do anything until this other one gets off the pot and start actually start moving some chess pieces off this board here. And this is where we are. You know, it's important that they said that we understand that we're dealing with two heads and we got to get to one head because... Like I said, I could feel very energetically. I know even for my story with my own counterpart, times are getting serious and times are really calling for these light workers to really actually step up and you're needed. And I see how you need it. And this is what Source is saying through that Diablos is you getting with Source or you on the other side. And right now they're calling you to come over to the other side because you are needed. It's things going on. I definitely know in the city of Chicago that light workers and those who have set forth to do things in the community uh, and to help out and bring solutions to what's actually going on, you are needed. And where you actually are, it cannot occur with that person or the situation that you're in because it's just not. So you're sitting there holding up the pipeline. They keep on telling me to tell you that you keep on holding up the pipeline for other people that are involved to be great. And that's why in some ways they say you kind of in, in, involved with some kind of like, I'm sorry to say this kind of semi-trickle thing, some devilment. You're not on task. You're missing the mark. You're sinning. Sinning means to miss the mark. Okay, before anybody say, oh, my God, you're not on the side, playing on the right side. You're playing on the side, what you're saying, myself, I got free will. I can do whatever I want to. But sources said, I need you. And right now, you're serving two things, but you're not serving the right thing, which is source, which is God, or whoever you want to say. Yahweh, uh, Yahshua, whoever, you have not chose to do that. So I just wanted to get on here. We were supposed to have did a um, reading today. We went out today. You know, mom it, it is a recycled teenager, and she got kind of a little tuckered out and tired. So I told her she semi looked like she got a second win. And I was like, no, let's get you in the morning. And um, let's try then again for the karmic situation. Let her, she can't go back to back to back to back. She could have, but as soon as we went out there and she was doing things, she was tuckered out. And I was like, okay, that's enough. You know, it, you got to shield yourself. I forgot a kid. April said, do you tell her to shield herself when she got out there? So I will tell her to do that, but I think she has, but um, a different way. So when she goes out there, um, she'll know what to do. Um so we'll be back on um, tomorrow. 
uh, in uh, real quick and so we can give you that karmic update as well. All right, so I thought I'd just come on in here and kind of give you an update about some things um, that Spirit had brought to me um, that I believe that is important that you know. But we got to stop acting like we're two-headed, undecided as to which way to go and really pull ourselves together and actually go in the way in which Source wants us to go, especially in our thinking, because we're all over the place. Like Ma said, it's a mess. He said that for the Divine Master and the Divine Feminine reading. And we've got to now, we got to snap out and we got to pull ourselves together right now and be as one. All right, then, as always, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascending. Namaste. Namaste. Love you.